Local scientists are helping to improve red tide conditions. Fox 4's Titi Laya Okua tells us how they're planning to reduce the dead fish. There's no red tide in the waters behind me, but local scientists at Florida Gulf Coast University are part of a state effort to recycle the dead fish and get rid of the algae blooms faster. The state funded a red tide mitigation program between FGCU and Moat Marine Lab that would help get rid of rotting fish from algae blooms and turn them into something more productive. So the project is looking at using uh, fish that have died from red tide blooms and using them to create like an organic and carbon neutral fertilizer. Hopefully the composting and uh, fertilizer would then be used for uh, agriculture, also for uh, grass and lawn care. They are using bacteria to help the dead fish decompose completely into fertilizer. Their experiment will test if this process completely removes the toxins in the fish before the product can be used. As they are removing dead fish from the waters, the scientists hope it reduces toxins that contribute to red tide. This project, even though it smells really bad and it can be frustrating to work with, um, it could also increase our ability to move forward. How can we improve on this situation? They've been conducting this experiment with small samples, but this is the first attempt to do large scale composting. FGCU is working with Tampa Bay scientists to test those waters near the most recent algae blooms and see if removing the fish improves the problem. Titi Laio Okua, Fox 4.